Hey guys, welcome back. It's Neon and I've got some really, really cool news. I actually wasn't even going to do a video on this until uh, you know, we posted an article on DRES talking about it. The Dungeons and Dragons Brazilian car commercial. And uh, Geeky said, why don't you go ahead and record a video about it? Because people seem to be really excited. So here we are. Uh, before we get started, I just want to say thank you again to everyone who subscribed over the last couple days. We've seen a real uh, uptick in subscribers on the YouTube channel, and uh, we really, really appreciate that. And it's super, super important that you do subscribe to Clownfish TV because uh, I guess Google takes that into consideration when recommending videos, which helps us grow our channel. So uh, if you could subscribe to Clownfish TV to help us out, that would be incredibly incredibly appreciated so let's get on with this uh a couple days ago we had a user named hans write us on facebook telling us that they had this brazilian car commercial featuring a live action version of the uh, animated cast of dungeons and dragons the original dungeons and dragons cartoon from the 1980s and it was like oh my god this is amazing and and what's even more amazing about this is the casting if you're familiar with the original Dungeons and Dragons cartoon, now it was done by Marvel Productions, who also did uh, G.I. Joe, Transformers, Gem, My Little Pony, Muppet Babies. They did so many other shows. What's amazing about the casting is they are like freaking dead on, dead on uh, live action portrayals of the original cast i mean uh, you know the one that really blows my mind is is eric the cavalier i'm like they've got the smirk down and everything but these kids are freaking amazingly close to to uh what was in the animated series if you haven't seen the the, the dungeons and dragons animated series okay it's it's kind of hokey but it was a lot of fun. It aired for three seasons, I think, back in the early to mid-1980s. Um, had very little to do with the actual Dungeons & Dragons tabletop game, other than having a character called Dungeon Master, who was kind of like Yoda, and uh, occasional appearances by kind of canon D&D characters, I think. Um, I think they had War Duke, they had Tiamat, they had a couple... A couple of the uh, the D&D mainstays at that point, but it really kind of was its own thing, and it sort of took place in its own, I guess, like, pocket universe. I don't know. It was a lot of fun, though. I watched it every Saturday morning when I was a kid. Uh, that goes to show uh, you how old I actually am. But uh, I'm super excited, super excited about this. Now, what they have so far, they've only got, a, I guess, a teaser for a series of commercials. And apparently, I was, I was wondering... Uh, where Uni was, and they are going to have the unicorn in the final one, I believe. Uh, but yeah, it's, I mean, from what I can see of it, it's really freaking cool. We've got Dungeon Master, we've got, uh, and it's a car commercial. Look at this. I mean, this looks like, this looks like a Hollywood production. This looks better than the actual Dungeons and Dragons movie that we wound up getting. And I hope Hollywood takes notes because this is how you do it man this looks this looks so good and it's a freaking car commercial a brazilian car commercial and it looks better than most of what hollywood's producing you know hollywood trying to cash in on nostalgia and they're they're kind of uh not doing it right in many cases so if you go out to the article on drez you can see if you've never seen the original intro uh to the dungeons and dragons series but all the characters are here we've got hank the ranger eric cavalier uh, Diana the Acrobat, Presto the Magician, Sheila the Thief, Bobby the Barbarian, the Little Kid, Dungeon Master is in. I, and I believe Venger actually does make an appearance in this as well. Uh, you see just a glimpse of Venger, who was actually voiced by, I think, Peter Cullen, who did Optimus Prime, was the main antagonist of the show. Um, so this is the, the article where they kind of announce it. This is in Portuguese. I'll put a link to that too. Uh, they have a little bit more information from what I can understand. Now, why is it appearing in Brazil? According to the article, it seems like the Dungeons and Dragons animated series was a huge, huge hit in Brazil. Didn't know that. I didn't know that. Uh, but they actually called it Dragon Cave uh, down there. They called it Dragon Cave. So apparently it was a, a pop culture phenomenon over there from what I can gather from the translation, which is really spotty. But they said that they tried to make it look like a leak from a legit Hollywood movie. And actually it's just going to be a series of commercials. But it's really incredible how much they they put into this. It's really incredible. So again, um, you know, Hollywood could definitely take some notes from this. They've got some posters released of the individual characters. I mean, these kids look exactly 
like their cartoon counterparts, yet they work in live action. Again, Hollywood, take some notes. Uh, but yeah, I thought this was really cool. I'll just do a quick video on it. I will put a link to the article on DRES. Apparently, 523, that'd be uh, about four days is when the actual commercials are going to start the series of commercials. And I think we'll see a lot more then. I mean, obviously, they went to a lot of expense to uh, create the D&D world live action. So I think there are going to be quite a few commercials and I'm definitely, definitely going to be watching them. So again, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, rants, gaming videos, art videos, and more. This has been Neon. We'll talk to you later. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.